dual white boy haircut. Our bet. So which one of y'all found me? Uh, I did. I got my okay. on Instagram. So what you trying to do with it? Do you want a suggestion? Yeah, what do you think? Definitely something textured up top. No, no hairline. Do you wear it up? Forward? Uh, messy? What do you want to wear? Usually messy or up. Messy or up? Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking maybe like a shadow fade with like a taper at the bottom. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. All right, YouTube. So this kid's from a college campus in my city, a popular college. He's not even from Philly. So first things first, I'm identifying his growth pattern. His hair pretty much grows all forward. He doesn't have any crazy cowlicks. I noticed that his crown was a bit cut too short last time so we're gonna still focus on growing that out now I'm gonna just start point cutting the top and I created just one main section which was the top and then divided it from the sides and what this is doing is just gonna add a little bit of texture I'm not taking too much we're just the point is just to add texture while also doing a slight trim Now I'm going to take um, diagonal sections to blend the sides into the top pretty much. So this haircut, I already know I want bulk to remain. And I know you guys are thinking like, what do you mean? You guys will see what I mean. This haircut kind of, it kind of involves like just a little bit of bulk. But you know when it's that awkward bulk line from the top connecting to the sides, this is how you connect the sides to the top. This is a very easy technique. So, After that, we're going to take our 1.5 gar, and this is going to be the base of our fade. So under this, we're going to do tapers. But I didn't suggest a fade on him just because it might be too much of a change for him. I don't know what haircut he's coming from. Probably a very simple one, just like this. So I didn't want to switch up his style too much. I just wanted to put my twist to it. So taking my 1.5 going up, creating our base for the fade. And I believe the highest guard I used was just a four, honestly. Anything above that, scissor over comb. So below the four, I did a three, then a two, then back to the one and a half. And that will blend it out pretty much smoothly. As you can see the shape, there's a few parts that are sticking out, but that's for scissor over comb. Right here, we're gonna start our taper. So we're gonna do a ball taper, but keep it very, very low. You don't want this to come up like how it would or another texture. You want it to kind of just fade directly into his skin. You want it to be a seamless taper. Kind of like it's not even there. Same exact thing for this side. Something I hate that a lot of barbers do, and you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. They'll give a white guy a black man's haircut. And I just think that it looks weird. Like when you give, I know some white guys do want that sharp lineup, but a lot of them don't. I already knew he didn't. That's why I didn't even suggest it. And even if someone were to want it, I would still suggest if it wouldn't look right on them for them not to get it. So it's popular in like Hispanic culture and, and black culture to get the sharp lineup. We all know this. But for white guys, they, they can't always rock it. They can't. So for the back, we're gonna do a taper. Again, you don't want it to be so noticeable. Just blend it right out. That's it. Now for all this bulk, we still want some to be left over for styling purposes and, and um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna explain this one, but 
This haircut requires just a little bit of bulk around this area. You see kind of the shape of his head. It's like a roundish, squarish. We want that. We're playing into that shape. So I'm just gonna scissor over comb to soften up this bulk. And we're gonna use our razor right here. Shout out to Easy Blade Shaving Products. Head over to their website and use my promo code for 10% off. I'm gonna sharpen up that C cup again. And now we're gonna re-wet the hair and attack the fringe. So I separated the fringe from everything else. And I'm still just gonna point cut the fringe. And while it's wet, we're gonna do some more scissor over comb, just a little bit. Saw some areas that I wanted to touch up. And we're gonna add some matte clay. And this is the styling portion. So, this is important, I wanna make this point really stand out. His hair didn't wanna go up. So what we settled on was it kinda of going forward with a slight swoop. You can't force hair to do something that it doesn't wanna do especially if this is going to be the style that he's going to be rocking so this is what we're going to do we're going to kind of push it up like that but still play into it going forward so kind of like a swoop kind of like a tom brady haircut i think i think he looks like tom brady what do you guys think <laughs> so you guys can see how that bolt kind of complements the cut a little bit that's exactly what i meant on both sides So this is the end result. Check it out from all these different angles. We're gonna clean up his face, use the shaver. This is the before and this is the after. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Four and I'm out. Peace. Nice meeting y'all. Hey, if y'all got any more friends who like wolfing, or if you want one next time, I do them on Wednesdays. Um, yeah, let me know. No problem.